This is called a chitenge cloth. And you can find chitenge cloth in every household, rich or poor. In fact, uh, most women have two, three, four chitenge uh, cloths. And that spells C-H-I-T-E-N-G-E. And I asked some of the ladies what it actually means, and they just told me, well, it just means a piece of cloth. So, uh, the women here use it for multiple, multiple purposes. They, uh, in, in most households, uh, the young ladies, when they come of age, uh, say 13, 12, 13 years old, they have to wear the chitenge cloth. They're not allowed to go outside of the house with uh, trousers. So, they, you'll see this very, very often in Zambia. They'll take the cloth and wrap it around like so, and and then they just go. And 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 this is this is what they do. This is how they wear it. Uh, so they'll wear it like this. Uh, sometimes just like I said, after they've come of age, the older women will put the chitenge around their waist uh, when they're cooking. Or sometimes they just go different places to church and they'll have another skirt on. They'll put the chitenge cloth over that so the skirt doesn't get dirty. If they're cooking, they'll put the chitenge cloth around themselves uh, so that they won't get dirty. You'll also see that they'll roll it up. They'll roll the chitenge cloth up real nicely, fold it up, and then what they'll do is They'll put it on their head, like this. And they'll be, sometimes they'll carry a five liter, it, it's actually supposed to sit on top of the head. It sits on top of the head uh, for, I guess for cushion. And they'll put a five liter uh, container of water on their head, or they'll carry a bucket of fire on their head. So this will be like, um, a cushion, shock absorber. They'll also carry their baby on their back. So they, they always have the chitenge around, so they'll take it and um, tie it around. So what they'll do is they'll put the baby on their back, then they'll take the chitenge cloth and tie the baby on their back and the baby doesn't fall off. I've seen them do this hundreds of times and I'm amazed how the baby stays on. So if I'm near them, I'll hold, you know, like, okay, you know, I'll touch the baby so, you know, he or she doesn't fall off while they tie it on and then they just go. They just, just keep trucking. They just go. Uh, they use this as a, let's see, as a sign of respect at a funeral. If you're at your mother-in-law's house, you'd better have a chitenge cloth. Um, otherwise, it's a sign of disrespect if you don't. So there are many, many uses for this, um, this piece of cloth. And like I said, it's found in every household. It, uh, I had to get one. And I was also presented with, um, uh, a skirt and, um, uh, Two of them actually, a skirt and a top made out of uh, chitenge cloth. I was really excited to hear that White Cross would be able to help us um, with um, bandages, sheets, uh, other types of linen. With White Cross help, I think we can really do a lot to help our brothers and sisters here in Zambia. We would really, really love for you to partner with us here in Zambia.